Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft Craft. And in this video, we are going to talk about the script that we have discussed in our Microsoft Craft user video. Okay, so the first fundamental that I would like to address here, that's more of a relative to script that I'm going to use OAuth 2.0 client credential flow. Now, if you have seen our last video, in that we have covered the part wherein I have addressed how you should write a script from scratch and in that script as well i'm using client id and client secret as well as a permission which has been explicitly granted to my application and that is the same process i'm going to use in this particular video to request an access token as we move on with this playlist as i'll keep on posting more and more scripts i'll always use relative functions which i have already covered before so that it is more informative and you'll get more insights in terms of relating how things are working with Microsoft Graph. Okay, so let's begin by understanding what will happen in this particular script, which I'm going to show you guys. The first section is the process wherein you'll get prompted to enter your domain name. The moment you will enter your domain name, it will get saved in a variable. And then this variable will be used to access or to query the endpoints of your tenant. Okay, and that is something which will happen inside this particular function. So this first function which will get triggered will actually query the endpoints, get the access token for you, and then also verify whether you have the appropriate permissions or not. That means the client ID and the client secret or the application reference that you're giving in your script, whether it has the relative permission to access graph endpoint or not. Once Everything is verified once you have the appropriate permissions. An access token will be saved into a globally scoped variable. And then this access token will be used inside a loop. The first fundamental of loop is to give you a prompt that whether you want to create a user or not. The moment you will select yes, this access token will be used inside a different function, which is called create user. And the same process will keep on going until and unless you select no here. So what will happen in a nutshell? Let's say I selected yes. I'll go through inside this particular function where I will get the user created and the same user will be displayed on the console. And the same process will keep on going till the time I select yes. But the moment I will select no, the script will terminate. This is all which this script is going to do and it is exceptionally simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my monitor where I have open Visual Studio Code as well as PowerShell so that I can show you everything in real time. So as you can see, now I have switched to my machine where I have PowerShell as well as Visual Studio Code open on the same screen so that I can show you guys what exactly is happening. Okay, so this is the script. This is the actual script which will get the users created for you. But there is something more which I would like to show you guys and the process of verification of permissions. Okay, now if you guys remember in most of our videos, what I have shown is the process of requesting token and then decrypting it with the help of jwt.io or jwt.ms. But if you will use this particular script, which I will also be sharing in our community post, you can get the token decrypted on PowerShell console itself. Okay, so as you can see right now, I'm going to initiate this particular script and what this script will do, it will ask me my tenant name, it will query the endpoints, it will get the access token. And this particular section is actually going to decrypt the payload for you. The payload is the section which contains claims. Okay, now I'll click on enter. And as you can see, I'm getting the prompt to enter my domain name. I'll type enter. And as you can see, the token is decrypted. Now, if you guys remember when I was talking about verification of permission, this section that you see here, which says roles, this is something wherein all the permissions which are granted to application and being consented by your admin will get listed. Okay. So this is something which I have used as a logic in the script which will be used to create user to verify whether my script has the appropriate permissions or not okay now let's come back to our script section again that we will actually use to create user object okay now let's start from where the entire 
process gets initiated okay so if you guys remember when we were discussing in the deck the first section will ask you to enter your domain the moment you will enter your domain this will get saved here and then a token function will be initiated now what does this token function does it queries the endpoint it gets the access token for you and this is the same process which I have shown you here okay now what it does it say is that you have to access global permissions that means this section of role and verify if this permission exists or not so as you can see token is the function which is requesting the endpoints getting the access token for you and then also getting it verified whether you have the appropriate permissions or not these three things are happening as of now in this particular function if you will not have the required permission then it will break and you will get a message like your app doesn't have the required permission okay now let's come back to see what will happen next then once you have the appropriate access token you will enter a loop the script will start a loop wherein inside this loop you'll get a prompt whether you want to create a user or not the moment you will type yes you will inside you will be inside this particular condition and the moment you will select no it will get break okay so as long as you'll keep on selecting y this loop will keep on executing but the moment you'll click on n this script will get terminated and inside this if condition this function is getting initiated which is going to create user okay now if you guys remember this is the section which i have also covered in our microsoft graph video wherein it says these are the required parameters which must be present in your request that you are going to create that you're going to post to get a user object created so this is where there is an interaction that's happening between the script and the user and this is a hard-coded value of the temporary password that I will be sending for each of the user okay so the first prompt will be inside this loop is to enter the user's display name and then enter the mail nickname this is something which is a suggestion that your user principal name should be something like your domain now this is the value which I have already declared and that is coming from where the value that you have entered while initiating this particular script okay now once all these values are in place this section will get the account created and this section will show you the account which has been created okay now i'll come back to my powershell and let's initiate this script and see what's happening okay so now i'll go to create user i'll click on enter as you can see as of now i am here and i'm going to type my domain name which is conceptswork.com and uh, access token is getting requested as of now as well as the verification of the permissions is done so that means the first function is completed and we are here we have the valid permission and as of now the token is being saved in my global variable now what does it say is that do you want to create user I'll say yes and then I'll click on enter and let's say I'm going to type now graph test to at as my name okay it's, it's asking for name I was typing email so I'm entering my users display name which is graph test 2 okay now I'm going to enter the same as my mail nickname as well and now as you can see it's also suggesting you that UPN value must be like someone at the red concepts work.com so what I'll do graph test 2 at concepts work.com and that's it this particular user has been created now as long as I'll keep on selecting yes option I'll get the prompt to create more users and once you are done with the creation of all the users you can just click on n and the script will exit that's all so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this script in the description section of this particular video and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach me in the comment section. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.